When you think shop electronics, you think TV, air purifiers, maybe even phones, right? Well, shop has true wireless earbuds too. Hey guys, we have something a bit interesting today. The HP TW30 earbuds from Sharp. Before we get into the review, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on upcoming videos. Starting with design, it's actually a bit of a letdown. I mean, the exterior has a nice soft touch coating and you do get the standard LED indicators on the front for charging and such. There's a USB-C port on the rear, luckily, and the case even supports wireless charging. My one problem with it is the lid. It feels flimsy, it's hard to open, and it's not like those nice magnetic lids or anything. It hooks on physically, which means if you're planning on using these for a long period of time, it's not quite as durable. As for the earbuds themselves, they look okay. There's a gold ring on the top of the earbud that demarcates the touch control area, which is fine. I'm not a big fan of the sharp branding on each earbud, but it is what it is. The only other thing is that the stem does extend quite a bit and it does rub against my face a bit for some reason. You get touch controls here and they're actually pretty interesting. A single tap raises or lowers volume, a double tap controls play pause, while a triple tap pulls up the voice assistant. A single tap and hold skips tracks, while a double tap and hold switches ANC on or off. It's definitely quite different from how most other earbuds do their touch controls and it took me a while to kind of remember how these work. There's also no app seemingly, so no touch control customization, no EQ feature, anything like that. It's really just a simple pair of earbuds. You get what you get right out of the box. There's also no in-ear detection here, so if you're the kind of person who takes out your earbuds and just leaves them you know, on your table while you're off doing something else, you might want to remember to pause your music. You get Bluetooth 5.0, which is pretty standard, although there's only SBC and AAC here. Now, the earbuds are actually independent, so you can use them, you can use either side as you want, which is actually something that I didn't really expect out of these earbuds, but it's good to have. Sharp claims 6 hours of battery life with ANC off, and I did my testing with ANC on, obviously, um, and I got around 4 hours and 35 minutes at around 30% volume, it's not great. It's actually kind of mediocre considering that you know most other ANC earbuds nowadays with better ANC actually range anywhere from 6 to 8 hours. There's IPX4 water resistance which means that these can stand up to sweat and rain and surprisingly, I'm gonna say that these can actually be used for exercise if you really want to. They sit securely enough in the ear. There's an interesting sort of coating on the earbuds that should provide some grip uh, you know, when sweat comes into play. And they are light enough that you know you won't really feel too much wearing fatigue even if you use these for like a couple hours. A and C on these are just okay. They are really quite average actually. In cars and on trains, it didn't really make much of a difference. There was a noticeable difference in terms of like cutting out the noise from my fan and such, but I mean, don't get these if you're looking for something with strong A and C. Sound quality though was a bit of a surprise. I wasn't expecting all that much considering the price tag of around 249 Singapore dollars. And these are actually on sale right now for like 160 Singapore dollars. But yeah, these are definitely not gonna be in the running for earbuds with best sound quality, but they actually sound decent. The bass is definitely very emphasized though with a dip in the mids. Vocals do still have a decent presence, but the bass is really just in your face. It might be a good thing for people who love bassy earbuds, but you just get a lot of bass here and not really much of anything else. Just listening to like Billie Eilish's Bad Guy is... yeah. It feels like if there was an EQ feature here, it was kind of just tuned to focus solely on the bass. There's not much vocal layering or separation to speak of, and the soundstage is pretty average, about what you would expect from a pair of true wireless earbuds. Pretty V-shaped signature, although the treble isn't particularly energetic. So, who would get these? Well, you're not going to be looking at these if you want the best sound quality or the strongest ANC, let's just say that. But if you want something that's slightly more affordable, you want something that has a lot of bass, like a lot, and you want something that's light enough to wear to the gym, then these might be for you. 
Personally, I'm definitely not part of the target audience that these are made for, so I probably won't be getting a pair. But these are apparently like 70 US dollars or something. So I would say that these actually make a pretty good option for gifts or even just as a pair of beta earbuds. Anyway, those are my thoughts on the Sharp HP TW30 earbuds. If you guys have any comments or questions, leave them down below. Don't forget to subscribe to us and like this video. Till the next one, see you guys.